Hi guys, this is Virus Brandon from the Spigot Minecraft community, and I'm here to show you a new plugin. It's called Storage Grids. Uh, it very much resembles my previous plugin, Bottomless Chests. The only difference is that it takes up far less space, uh, and you can scroll in several different directions in the grid. So I've got an existing grid, so for the sake of uh, showing an example, this is the GUI that comes up, and when you hover over these various buttons in the GUI, you have directional options that you can use to scroll. The items that are highlighted in green, those are the cardinal directions that you can scroll. So right, you can scroll east, left, you can scroll west, up, you can scroll south. or down, you can scroll south and up, you can scroll north, excuse me. Um, in addition to that, you can also scroll intermediate directions like, uh, like northeast, northwest, southwest, and southeast. And to guide you through the GUI, you can press this button, you can see the cursor moving diagonally, and then I can go northeast and maybe northwest a little bit, then I can go southwest, and, you know, then I can go right a little bit. Eh, maybe I want to go left, up a little bit, down a little bit, and then maybe I want to go all the way back up to the corner. You can only scroll diagonal when there is a, when there is room to go up and over. So if you get up to the top, you can't move diagonally unless both coordinates work. Okay, so now I'm all the way up at the top. You can see that my items are moving diagonally off screen, so that's how that works. Um, so, when you reload the plugin, all you got to do to get it back up is to run slash grid. It loads your grid brings it back up on screen, takes one command, and that's it. Uh, the actual plugin itself, I don't think you guys can see this, but uh, just for the sake of examples, I'm going to go into the grid storage folder, grid, and I've got my grid here, my, my, my zip file. So when the, um, when the uh, file gets written out to the hard drive, it actually zips it up. and keeps it in a compressed zip format so that it doesn't take up a lot of space. The uh, actual size of the file is very small, but if you were to unzip this, it'd be 201 kilobytes, and that's assuming you don't have a lot of files or a lot of items saved to it. If you have enchanted items, items with custom names, lore, and all that stuff, it'll take up a lot of space very, very quickly. So it has been designed to auto-zip and compress down all the files for the grids that are not being used. Only active grids will be taking up more space while the user is online and of course assuming that they run slash grid to load up their grid. So, you know, same thing here. I've got another alt account on, on here. So I've got another grid right here. And this is my stuff in this grid. So they're totally independent of one another. And once you run grid once, your grid is loaded onto the server until the software is restarted or the server is restarted or whatever. So you don't have to wait a second or two or several seconds for your grid to load every single time. Once it's loaded, it's there and it's ready for you to use. Now, as of late, I have been working a new job since April and I don't have time to do custom development requests. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post this software on, on Spicket for about half the price of Bottomless Chest, and that is the base version of the software. Any custom features that are requested by my users, I will be charging to add those features. The prices are as follows. For a small feature, $20. Moderate feature, $50. Large feature, $75. So it's kind of it's kind of salty, 
but essentially I don't have time to do features left and right like I did with Bottomless Chess because I wrote Bottomless Chess starting back in 2015 and I had really all the time in the world aside from school and work. Uh, that's not the case anymore. So if you want a new feature, it's going to cost you and it's going to take some time to implement. So this has been a demonstration of my new storage grid software. I hope that you'll t uh, take a look at it, develop an interest in it, and ultimately purchase the software. This concludes my demonstration. Y'all have a good night.